guys, John from the Mishimoto Garage. Today, we're here to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit CVT Transmission Cooler for the 2015 Plus Subaru WRX. Tools needed for install include 10 millimeter deep socket, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, 10 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, pop clip pliers, dikes, channel lock pliers, an aluminum 10AN wrench, WD-40, a funnel, and make sure you've picked up some Subaru High Torque CVT transmission fluid. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. Remove the two pop clips holding the stock air intake duct in place. Remove the two pop clips holding the engine cover to the top of the engine. Loosen the worm gear clamp using a flathead screwdriver. Remove the three 12 millimeter bolts holding the driver side intercooler mounting bracket in place. Remove the one 12 millimeter bolt holding the passenger side intercooler mounting bracket in place. Now you can disconnect the intake pipe from the intercooler and remove the intercooler from your WRX's engine bay. Remove the one 12 millimeter bolt for the passenger side intercooler mounting bracket. To make removing the front bumper a little easier, lift your WRX up with a lift or with jack stands. Remove the eight pop clips from the bottom of the front bumper using your pop clip pliers. Remove the two pop clips that hold the front bumper to the fender lining on either side. Remove the six 10 millimeter bolts on the top of the front bumper. Remove the three remaining pop clips on the top of the front bumper. Carefully unclip the front bumper cover and pull outward about 10 inches, ensuring that the fog light connections are not damaged. Next, disconnect both the fog lights. Now, completely remove the front bumper cover. You might need an assistant. Remove the six pop clips located on the trim in front of the radiator. Remove the eight 10 millimeter bolts for the upper support holding the front bumper cover in place. Now you want to start installing the kit. Route the supplied hoses between the front corner of the passenger side headlight and the crash bar. Locate the stock transmission cooler underneath the passenger side intercooler mounting bracket. It is silver and round with two coolant lines and two smaller transmission lines. Remove the bottom hose for the transmission fluid from the side port of the stock transmission cooler. This is the outlet of the stock transmission cooler. Remove the other end of the hose from the transmission fluid line. Some excess transmission fluid might drip onto the stock transmission cooler. Place a worm gear clamp onto the loose end of one of the supplied hoses now in your engine bay. Install the hose onto the stock transmission cooler outlet port. Place a worm gear clamp onto the end of the other supplied hose and connect that one to the transmission fluid line. Install a dash 10AN hose fitting to one port of the Mishimoto transmission cooler. Place your funnel into the other port of the Mishimoto cooler. Fill the cooler with approximately half to three quarters of a quart of transmission fluid. Mishimoto recommends only using Subaru high torque CVT fluid. Once the transmission cooler has been filled with fluid, remove the funnel and install the second dash 10AN hose fitting to the port. Fully tighten all your dash 10AN fittings using a dash 10AN wrench to prevent any leaks. Place the supplied worm gear clamps on the rubber hoses. Pull some excess hose through the front of your WRX. If desired, trim about six to 10 inches from each rubber hose for a more snug fit in the engine bay. Install the provided mounting brackets to the sides of the transmission cooler. Note that the ends of the mounting brackets should be facing outward, not inward. Here, you're gonna to wanna to use the Mishimoto provided hardware.
Install the transmission cooler by flipping it upside down onto the upper support for the front bumper using the upper mounting brackets. You're going to use the Mishimoto supplied two 10mm bolts to hold the cooler in place. Next, reinstall the upper support for the front bumper. Using the supplied zip ties, zip tie the transmission cooler hoses out of the way. Make sure the zip ties do not cause any kinks in the lines. Reinstall the pop clips to the trim located in front of the radiator. Reconnect the fog lights in the front bumper to their harnesses. Reinstall the front bumper cover. You may need a friend or an assistant. The bumper cover will snap into place near the headlights. Now you want to reattach the three remaining pop clips on the front bumper. Next, reattach the six 10 millimeter bolts on top of the front bumper. Reattach the two pop clips that hold the fender liner in place. Reattach the eight pop clips to the bottom of the bumper. When reinstalling the inner cooler, applying some WD-40 makes it a lot easier to reinstall. Using the one 12 millimeter bolt you removed earlier, reinstall the passenger side bracket for the top mount intercooler. Reinstall the top mount intercooler. With the three 12 mm bolts you removed earlier, secure the intercooler to the mounting brackets. Next, reconnect the intercooler pipe to the intercooler. Reinstall the engine cover using the two pop clips. Next, reinstall the air intake duct using the two pop clips. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto CVT Trans Cooler on your WRX, you're ready to push the limits.